Hello and welcome to pdfsupply.com. Today we're going to be testing a Versamax IC200 MDL940. Okay, this is a 2 amp max isolated form A relay output module. Uh, it's 16 points. So the what we're going to do with this test is to, to see if you guys have a good working module. How we isolate this particular module and, and test it. So as you can see I have it powered up right now and I have an OK light on. That's the first thing that I always look for when I'm working with one of these devices. If you don't have an OK light on and it's firmly planted into the chassis and it's powered up, then it's likely you need replacement or repair and you won't be able to follow this test. Okay, But if you do have an OK light on, you'll be able to follow this. So what I have in front of you right now is the, the module is currently in an IC200 CHS002 chassis. Uh, which is connected to an IC200 CPU 101 and this is all being powered up by an IC200 PWR101 okay as far as peripheral devices what I've got going on for this test is a 24 volt power supply that's powered up right now you can see the positive lead from my power supply my negative lead is going to this solenoid okay so I have a negative lead here and I have my positive lead to the terminal and then I have a probe in order to test each channel. I'm just going to give you a demonstration of what that sounds like when it's activated. Okay. Now what you are unable to see on this but you guys can look if you want on the data sheet which is the GFK-2539B um, I have a, a wiring instructions here that indicate that the voltage should be jumpered from 1 to 3 to 5 to 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15 in order to get the first eight channels on. Okay, so I have these all jumpered. That's, that's basically every other terminal to the right of my power lead here is jumpered, and those are all the odd numbers and when I test each channel I'm obviously going to probe the even numbers in between each voltage uh, position. Okay. Now the next thing is once you guys have your peripheral devices you could also use a, a light bulb a 24 volt light bulb if you like it doesn't have to be a solenoid it just has to be something that can put the each channel under or each relay under load to make sure it's carrying power. Okay. So, in Prophecy Machine Edition, I have under main rack the same PWR101 and CPU001 I had mentioned. And in slot 1, I'm going to right click and select Add Module, Discrete Output, MDL940. And there's no real configurations that you need to be concerned of here for this test, except for the fact that you may want to note where your reference address is in case it's different than mine. This is a new blank file so mine is obviously going to start with percent %Q or output 00001 and I'll show you guys where to find that once we open up our default table. And so what I'm going to do is go to my online commands underneath target go to clear controller and IO fault table say OK and then I'm going to download and run this physical configuration that we have here in front of you. You want to do the clearing process because it keeps you from getting hung up during the download. So we're going to download hardware configuration and logic. Once this build is complete we're going to be able to test each output. Uh, in this particular case I'm going to be just testing outputs 1 through 8 for example and then you would follow the same procedure for 9 through 16 but okay so now we're in run mode okay and your processor should be in run mode right now if you look down below at my status it says programmer run enabled configuration equal logic equal if this isn't the case for you guys if you guys are hung up look in your feedback zone here and it may give you an indication of what the problem is, is if, if you're not able to get in run mode all right, and you can also go to target and click on diagnostics. 
but you should be in this position right now run mode and we're going to go down to our underneath our default tables if we expand on that to output you can double click or right click and open and then I'm going to put my you can see this arrow I'm going to put it right over here and this is the location that I mentioned before percent output 00001 we're going to click on that and we're going to put the value of 1 enter okay now my outputs are starting to come on my relays if you're unable to hear this in the video every time I turn a relay on and I get this light I'm getting a clicking noise that means that the relay is actually closing that's another good sign uh, that's something that you want to hear because it is an electromechanical switch that is actually turning on but do not go only by the sound of that clicking because it doesn't necessarily mean it's able to carry voltage okay so it's good that we heard that but you want to check it so again we're going to test one through eight just for example I have again these all jumpered all the odd numbers are jumpered to the right of this power lead I'm going to take the other lead from my solenoid and I'm going to touch to all the positive terminals okay so terminal number two is related to output number one number four is output two three four five six seven and eight okay so now I know that it carries voltage because my solenoid was able to carry the 24 volts and it was able to activate it uh, now the next thing I want to do is to make sure that they actually turn off okay these are on off circuits so they need to work both ways I'm going to place a value of zero in all eight positions outputs one through eight and I'm going to go back through to my even numbers okay so it should be number one off number two off three off four five six seven eight all off if for example you don't have a light on but you touch the uh, lead and it activates your light bulb or your soul node whatever it is that you guys are using or even a multimeter then that's a, a circuit that's failed and that's a, a module that's failed it's going to need repair or replacement and uh, IC200 MDL940 is something that we very commonly repair here at PDF Supply we offer exchange programs and new and remanufactured products and same day shipping so if that's something that you need or interests you please see us at pdfsupply.com thank you